into the blue area of the moon. An area that, for some reason, you can breathe without a spacesuit. Nearly kills everyone around her just by yelling stop, while Tony Stark builds a magical transformer to attack the Phoenix. There you go, Marvel's out of ideas. There's only one scene with the gun, no one actually gets shot. Rebooted into a more uh, grimy character with the new 52. This week for Comic Pal, I'd like to talk about Avengers vs. X-Men Consequences, issue number two. In this issue, Kieran Gillen has really, really outdone himself. Um, he's taken a gamble um, in the sense that the entire issue um, takes place in just one scene, basically. There's, there's uh, a second scene that takes about two pages at the end, but for the most part, the entire book is just one scene. And um, you really don't see that too often in the big two. You see that a lot more in the more experimental um, comics, the more um, indie comics. So it's really neat to see someone take a chance and just really, um, he really makes this into a character study. Um, we've got um, Cyclops and we've got Wolverine and it picks up right where the last issue left off. Um, let me just say, first of all, um, that if you like the X-Men, pick up this book. Whether or not you cared about Avengers vs. X-Men, whether or not you think these um, consequences books are hokey, pick this up. Um, and I'm just saying that because right now, up, up front, because I want to have a couple spoilers in here, and so um, I just want to let you know up ahead that you should definitely get this book. If you don't care about the X-Men, if you only care about Avengers, or you're not really into the X-Men at all, um, like my brother, um, then just forget about it. Don't worry about this book, because you'll be bored. It's just um, Scott and Wolverine talking in jail. Now, um, I assume anyone that um, cared about spoilers is gone already. What's so great about this is basically um, uh, Kieran uh, Gillen has really been um, taking a look at, at um, Scott for the past few years. Like I said in the last review, he's um, been leading the um, X-Men books. He's been like the lead writer, um, even if he hasn't necessarily been writing each and every book. And um, this is kind of the, the big conclusion to his Scott Summers arc um, because I'm pretty sure he's going to be moving on to Thor and some other books and, and I think he's pretty much completely off the X-Men um, once Marvel now kicks off. So um, basically I think there's two um, really key points in here that, that I really enjoy. One is when he mentions, when Scott mentions to Wolverine that now he knows what Gene felt like and that's something that Wolverine will never know. And, um, and I like it for a couple reasons. One, he's really antagonizing Wolverine given their huge history, the big love triangle between the three of them. Um, and two, he's really actually telling the truth. I mean, if you haven't been possessed by the Phoenix Force, you wouldn't know what it's like. Um, in the same way that um, in Uncanny X-Men, uh, we're exploring the fact that magic purposely um, tricked Colossus into becoming cursed so he could know what she went through. We kind of have the same deal here. You know, the, being the Phoenix Force is such a colossal thing. Um, also analogous to during Spider Island when Mary Jane got the spider powers and she finally knew what it was like for Peter. Um, the other scene that I really like a lot is basically Scott, uh, once again, just like he's been doing consistently since the end of Avengers X-Men, is defiant. Because of him, there's new mutants and he's right. Number one, he tells Wolverine that for siding with the Avengers, he could have prevented the birth of new mutants, which is a great thing for him to say. It's true. Again, to ends justify the means, probably not, but I think it's pretty neat that, that they're really going on that path. And um, and second of all, you know, he says, hey, the same way that, that um, Quentin Quire, you know, had the shirt Magneto was right, you know, people are going to have Cyclops was right. Yeah, he did a lot of bad stuff, but guess what? Because of him, there's new mutants. And I really like that they're pushing that angle. Um, and um, the interesting thing is, I f for, for a little bit there, it looks like Scott's really coming off as a jerk. Like, why is he being such a jerk to Wolverine? Like, just because he feels that he won, but he's still in jail? No, it turns out he's trying to goad Wolverine into killing him because he feels that he's going to die in jail. And um, when this book ends, it looks like Cyclops is right. And to me, the, the really neat thing, the fact that this, the reason why this finally has drama for once is that 
um, with the whole all new X Men and um, having the Scott Summers from the past come to the future, it's not like there won't be a Scott Summers in the X Men line. So I feel like Marvel actually might not be too scared to kill Cyclops. Plus, it gives them the whole martyr thing. And so I think for, for once, there's actually some real drama that a major character could die. Um, and I think that's really exciting. It brings a lot of drama um, to the mainstream comics that's often missing because we know that the heroes can't lose. We know that if they die, they'll be back. I mean, even um, Xavier, who everyone is pointing to as the biggest reason why Scott was evil, you know, because uh, he killed Charles. Charles um, died back when Hope first appeared, and he was brought back by um, Exodus. So it's not like Charles hasn't been dead before anyways. Um, so I really, really like this book. I thought it was something really bold that Kieran did. Um, I really like um, the way he wrote it. Also, um, Steve Kurtz's art was great. Um, way better than Rainey's. Um, again, r like I said last time, Rainey had that really great art with the Wolverine panel, but overall it kind of didn't match what the book needed. And um, Steve Kurtz does a perfect job with this book. The, the art is great. You really get a sense of Cyclops and the way he's acting and, and his his emotions and stuff just from the way that he draws his arms moving and the way that he draws what you can see of his face and, and all that stuff. Um, and uh, one last thing that's kind of tangential to this book that I just want to answer. Um, you know, in this book, he's in a certain type of jail. Before, he was in a different type of jail. That's actually, and I, I had remarked that it was inconsistent last week. Um, it turns out that that um, my possible reasoning was correct. That that this this set, set of books, Avengers X Men Consequences, takes place after um, the events of Avengers vs X Men number one. In Uncanny X Men, the one that came out this week, they explain that they're going to be moving um, Cyclops to this new prison. So um, I can't wait to see what happens and. Um, I give it um, five out of five stars for all the work that Kieran did and all the great artwork.